Hey, what's up, man? What's your name? Uh, Adam. Adam. All right. And what are you playing? Uh, I play Bestial Adventure Control. Bestial Adventure Control. You're the one that clapped me. Yeah, you know, those games are uh, they're fun. <laughs> they're fun. Let's yeah. get into the deck profile. Yeah, if only the camera didn't die on game three. Oh, I know, right, dude? Honestly. Yeah. Okay. It's got three Lubellion. Three Lubellion. We've got the babies and the levy. <laughs> Play uh, the big bestials. I mean, not trying to use them as like uh, disruptions. They're actually combo pieces in the deck for the most part. Okay. Drew Swarm, Sergeant here, All Drake. Why not two Drew Swarms? Uh, it might come up, but I haven't. Right now, this has been fine. Okay. Uh, third Chaos Base, best card. Regained. No, no trap. That card's annoying. Uh, might play the trap after uh, Cyberstorm Access. We're we talking about Branded Beast, right? Yeah, might play Beast and that new Floodgate one. And the Floodgate one, okay. Um, we've got the Enchantress, the Griffin, right? Draco back, Faithful. I mean, those are all. That engine's pretty. And why sick. did why did you choose the Adventure engine for this deck? Uh, I was just playing around with this like Chaos stuff for a while. I was playing Dragon Link, and then I realized I was like, I've never Normal Summon. Might as well try it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even use any normal summon effects. Yeah, I mean it's very rare normal summons. I might normal summon this it's souls. Magician souls. And then what made you want to play that? Uh, I was trying to find a way to get a dark into the grave without having to rely on my opponent have a darker light. So then they were like, well, why don't you just play souls and just have send the illusion of chaos for cost? Did you get the idea from like base format? Yeah, this is actually basically base, but without the synchro stuff. <laughs> Dang, look at these starlights, bro. This one's actually in Spanish. Damn. I got uh, two effect veilers. Ooh. And two draws. On the... I'll get more into these, I guess, with the extra deck. It's more relevant than... Here's a reason to play a veiler over Imperm. Okay. And play two Kaijus. Kaijus. Why do you play those two? Uh, another thing in the extra deck. I'll... Show, okay. um, actually, I play this one because it has the most attack and it's light. Okay. And this one because um, I play the Wind Charmer. Gotcha. Then we've got two talents and two cosmic. Cosmic. And that's 40 <clears throat> cards. 40 cards, and you're a big fan of two ups. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that happened, but it just did. <laughs> All right, the extra deck is kind of the, it's kind of where everything's kind of different. But. And got Anima. This is what the kaijus are for. Oh, you put them in the yeah, you, actual zone. So you yeah. put Anima, you put the kaiju, and you take it. Yeah. And gotcha. uh, it's also, um, it lets me, um, I can use um, Valor, Droll, or or Souls to make it. Gotcha. So that's oh, why so you use your utility cards too. Yeah. Uh, Striker Dragon, just don't even play the Brockets or Boot Sector. I might after the next set, but um, literally just so I can link off the White or Black Dragon. Do you not like uh, playing 60 card decks? Is that why? <laughs> uh, I was playing 60 cards before I mean, really quite a while, like in tier form. That's what I was doing. I was playing 60 card Dragon Link. <laughs> Uh, got Link Spider. This is for the adventure token. Gotcha. But specifically, so I can make it a, the adventure token into an effect monster to make a access code or Trisbania. Ah, okay, okay. Link Clan. Okay, you got Seal. Um, Standard. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of the play four charmers. Jesus, and why do you do that? Okay, so Dark Light. They also bring back Nap Beasts. Uh, and then the Wind One Draw can bring back. Like if I summon draw, I can use it to bring back like barons and stuff. Oh. Um, also, these charmers they make um they make this card live. Oh, a spellcaster. Yeah. So gotcha. Yeah. So was, so I summon anything. What made you come up with this deck? Uh, I've been playing Dragon Link for a while, and then I don't know. I just started. You just wanted to keep it alive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> play the Mascarena and the Unicorn. Got the Selene. Playing Trisbania. This could be a lot of things. I played this because it was a good time win condition, but could be Beatrice, could be Wallow, uh, the, or like a rank six. Gotcha. Could be um, oh, something else you can do is um, I could you could play Fallen of Albaz in here. Oh. And um, you could play Albion and like Albion Borlo Furious or like Albi Albion or or you can play Mirror Jade. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah the Borlo Furious Dragon. Uh, play Avermax. This is specifically for uh, for Runic. 
Um, access code. I mean, why wouldn't you play this? Yeah. I mean, you play the Selene and play the Underworld Goddess. The extra deck's actually a lot more open than you'd probably think. I mean, all those charmers, bro. <laughs> yeah, the side deck isn't really that relevant, but it's just kind of just for standing for now. Yeah. So, I mean, three nib. Uh, I played these. It could be literally anything. Time win cons. Yeah, Lancia. This is actually specifically for evenly matched. Okay. Uh, called by for shifter. Um, also, I guess you could hit the mole cricket, but I, I don't think I've ever once resolved that. <laughs> uh, D barrier. Uh, Despia is really not that hard of a matchup or anything. So, but I mean, you never know if you play like something like Tritron or um, Sword Soul. Yeah. And well, the best side deck card. Yeah. If, if you even side. It. Unless you're maining it. <laughs> Even the gas. And then the tokens. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. How do you liking this deck so far? Oh, I love it. It's been uh, I've been working on it for a while. And then, like, you change it, like... I changed like one or two cards, but it makes me feel like I've made a complete new deck even though I haven't. Do you think you're going to make a big change going into Sayak format? Oh yeah, uh, the Bistial Synchro uh, is going to help. Um, the Apple Dragon is very good in this deck because I don't... Uh, the Adventure Token's normal. It already lets you go into Striker Dragon. Yeah, alright, I'm going to have to get an update with that Apple Dragon. <laughs> Thanks, dude.